the little bit of land coming in there. So that's going to be a darker green. I'm going to set it kind of, let's move this down a little bit so we can kind of see where we're going. And it's going to come about to here, as we're looking at our painting, it's going to go in about two thirds of the way, and it's going to be down a little bit into the water. So, let's go ahead and get some, some green. But it's got to be a darker green. I'm hit a little bit of brown in there and then maybe a smidgen of black. So a darker green. And so let's start about right here. And it, like I said, it comes down a little bit. And then it has, is going to come across here. like that. And so I want to make sure that this is my shoreline is looking right. So putting a little, a pretty good coat right through there like that. So that's the bottom. From here we can build this up a little bit. And I'm going to get a little bit more green in here, so that, that makes that part a little bit better for us, so we can see that. So we have our blacks and our greens mixing together. It needs to be a pretty, pretty thick coat. And I'm just going to work from from my left over here to my right. And we can do a little bit of wet into wet work there still too here um, as we have our greens and it's going to come up and over and overlap kind of like this. It doesn't need to go down into the water a little bit like that. And But we need it to be darker, right? It's in front. Let's get a little bit of black and a little bit of green and mix that in together so that we can maintain this value. And some green. And we just need to fill in this entire area. It started to dry a little bit down here on the shore. So let's bring this down a little bit. So we want this to be one large puddle and so it'll dry a little bit more even. and see what if we if we pull some brown streaks in here too and then some darker little streaks in here too I'm making this painting a little bit more with the the wet into wet techniques that we have need to be a little darker right here. It was blending into the other one a little bit too much. So I'm just going to tap right here to deposit a little more pigment on the edge. Like that. There we go. And so that's going to be the area, the land mass right back over here. And then the final area we're going to eventually have to do is our trees over top of that. For right now, we're going to let that part dry. <laughs>